What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ozark Bassin TV. My name is Brian. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We just hit 1K subs, and we are trying to go to for 10K this year. We'll try to make that happen. I don't know if it's doable, but that is our goal. That is our goal. So if you guys can help out and try and share the videos, let friends know what we're doing um, on this channel. We're just bass fishing and having fun. I also tattoo for a living, too. So um, you guys might see some you know more tattoo related stuff in the content to come we are at this pond today and by the way we just did um announce the giveaway winners for there's three winners for our 1k sub giveaway they're announced in the last video so if you guys have not checked it out please go down and click the link in the description and to go, go check out the video because there are two still two winners that were not accounted for they did not watch the video and find out they won and they have not reached out to me yet i will be reaching out to them in the next couple weeks if they don't reach out first and if they don't reach out back then we will choose another winner but the, one of the giveaway winners has contacted me and he will be getting his package soon, hopefully. I'm probably gonna ship it tomorrow or Tuesday. Today's Sunday. But yeah, we're at this pond today and we are going to be attempting something that I have not, you know, actually succeeded at doing in a while. And that is a mystery tackle box slam challenge. And if you guys don't know what mystery tackle box is, it is a boss box of uh, tackle that's a mystery that is delivered to your door once a month. And you know, it's a you know subscription company created by the Catch Co. And they have a bunch of baits in a box that you just, you know, it's like Christmas once a month. It's super cool. And it forces you to try out new stuff too than stuff you have not tried out before. If you guys want to try your first box for as low as $10, use my code Ozark Bassin at checkout. There'll be a link down in the description for you guys to pick up your first box. So really cool. We're gonna try to catch a fish using every bait. We're just, you know, it's winter time, it's cold. So we're gonna try to just catch fish in general using what's in this box. And you guys can see the pond behind me. That's like last week, it was a little frozen, kind of melted off. So it's in the 40s today, I think. Tomorrow it's supposed to hit maybe the 60s. So we might have to come back tomorrow if they're not biting today. But yeah, we got two days to do this video and possibly three if it doesn't rain on Tuesday because I might take the Tuesday off um, just because it's, it's been slow at the shop. But yeah, with that being said, if you guys are watching this, I mean, it's caught fish and I'll see you guys on the chesty. All right, we're gonna open this up um, and just see what's inside. So right here, first we got this all-purpose jig, which will be perfect in this area because there's a lot of grass. Um, looks like these will match up pretty well, purple. And then another little jig. Oh no, just throw that down there. Um, we got this crankbait, which might work in here. And then this lipless will definitely work in here. We can rip it through the grass and try to get a reaction bite. Um, these are a little smaller, so definitely, you know, probably the same size that the bass are feeding on in here. And then, of course, we got our good old Texas rig right there, which we might throw a wacky rig on there. We might have to go back to the car and get some bullet weights too for it. But yeah, all these we can pair up together pretty nicely. I think the first thing I'm going to throw out, we're probably going to throw this on uh, another rod that I'm going to have to go get, but I think the first thing I'm going to throw out is this jig. So we're going to pair up these jigs and throw these out there. Here we have the first jig. I forget what the name of it was. I don't think I mentioned the names when I was opening it because I'm kind of in a hurry. So it's the Exxon Lures Adrenaline Bug Junior, which Exxon is a really good brand, with the Phoenix Sparkle Jig, all purpose. And I'm really liking how this is looking. And I like the colors too, they match up really well, that purple and like kind of like peanut butter and jelly with the all purple little bug on the back. So we're just gonna throw this out here. We just got caught in grass. I just felt a heavy weight. These fish bites in the wintertime can be really tough. But we're still having SD card errors. Um, I literally just got a bite. I saw the fish go for it. And then like I jerked it away and it got the tail of my bait. It was a little small eight inch bass. Um, and then my GoPro decided to shut off. And then I turned it back on. It says SD card error. So, um, I unfortunately did not get a new, new SD card, so hopefully if we do catch something, it doesn't mess up. But, yeah, I'm hoping we can catch a bass. So, we have, I, I would say like 10, 
the 20 minutes left on the GoPro. And you know what's on the way home from this pond is the little creek that I like to fish. Uh, usually, I mean, last winter I caught about a pound and a half and a pound and a three quarter um, smallmouth in the same day, and it was freaking cold. So we're gonna stop by there on the way and just fish it. We might fish it tomorrow too for a little bit longer. Um, the sun is starting to go down a little bit, so, um, and the football game comes on. Whose house? Ram's house. But yeah, we're gonna stop by that pond and throw the, uh, you know, jig out for a little bit. Maybe uh, hook into a fish and just, you know, just check it out. And we'll probably go back there tomorrow and we're gonna go hit up a few more spots tomorrow unless that creek is just producing. But we'll probably go down to the James River. We'll probably go, uh, you know, visit some other ponds and see what is up. But yeah, I'll see you guys at the creek. Okay, so this is just a little chub. Kind of hope he gets off. Because I hate these things. Oh, geez, look how pink he is. Uh, but instantly, I wasn't even recording because <clears throat> you'll find your way, dude. Come on. Go, go. You can do it. There he goes. But yeah, instantly it just, I threw it in and as soon as it hit the water, this thing hit it. So let's see what happens over here. Oh, what? <laughs> Did you guys see that? That was funny. But yeah, we got a chub. I was, it's, it felt like a, I wanted to, to catch a bass, but I just guess, no, that's just too much to ask for, I guess. And of course we break off. Ooh, that was a freaking another bite. I think I might have, I don't know what it was. It felt like a tug. And then I went to set the hook and there's nothing on the end of it. So I'm wondering if it's like little small fish, but they're definitely biting this more than they, uh, I mean, I haven't gotten bites on anything else all day. Oh, did you guys see that? It even ran off with it. What is going on? That is wild. If we have to, we'll go somewhere else tomorrow. But man. Oh, that was a bite. Doesn't have it. We're starting to, we're starting to get some bites. Yep. Yep, we got one. Decent size. I don't know. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. I'll take it. This is the biggest fish I've caught all winter. He is PO'd. Sorry, bud. Whew. All right, guys. Okay, so, boom, look at that. Little solid guy. He has never been caught before. This is his first time being caught. We got it right there. I don't see any other hook sets, but we're gonna re release him. Unfortunately, I can't walk out here because this is all just muck. So I just kind of have to toss him back gently. There you go, bud. He's off. Hell yeah, let's go. I might just keep throwing out the worm because if we're starting to get bites and get fish, then man, I thought he was so much bigger when I first hooked into him, dude. All right guys, so hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, 
I'll show you guys what's happening right now. Uh, we got a bunch of snow the last couple days, and yeah, check out these ice sickles over here. Those are insane. It's like probably like six feet long. Come check it out. But we got about eight inches of snow, and look at those bad boys right there. But crazy. Um, we didn't get on any big ones, but. I mean, we just caught that one small bass, but I mean, I'll take that as a win any day. I mean, I'm freaking stoked on it. Um, we did go out the next day before we got all this snow and we actually ended up taking the kayak out and, um, you know, so that'll be the next video. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I know we're not catching big ones right now. We, the last big one I caught was a couple like a two and a half and a three pound smallmouth at the beginning of December. But yeah, hopefully spring comes soon and we can get on some pre-spawn in bass and start catching the bigs. Well, we got a kitty over here that's been staying with us because her neighbors literally live three doors down, but they don't give a shit about her drugs. Yeah. Anyways, we caught two fish on three of the baits in the box. So not a terrible way to end the video, but yeah. We're going to get on some big soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video again, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you guys for watching and supporting, and share these videos to friends. If each one of you can get, each person that's subscribed to me can get 10 people to subscribe, we're at 10K right there. So think about that. But I'll see you guys next week. Peace.